Hi everybody. For this next station, we're going to be talking about the idea of linear measurement. And when we talk about linear measurement, we're actually referring to length. And length actually has to do with measuring an item from end to end. So more commonly in science, we think about length, width, and height. Um, and we can use that to measure or all sorts of things. So for instance, if I have these three different snakes, they're all different lengths. So I would take my ruler here and I might line them up over here and I say okay well let's see this snake is uh, actually 13.4 centimeters right whereas this one is only let's see drag that over that seems about right he's only about 10.3 centimeters and then last but not least this little guy smallest of all is only about 8 point uh, we'll say 8.7 centimeters right so when you think about length you also have to think about the appropriate tools um, and the appropriate units so for instance right using a centimeter ruler for my fingernail well, that seems fine and maybe using millimeters on the ruler for the paper clip also seems fine uh, but for measuring someone's height well that's another story I'd probably want to measure in meters right so we've also got right to think of milli and just the base unit meter versus centi and then of course for much greater differences we have the kilometer or the kilometer right and for each of these you might pick a potentially different tool maybe the same for the paper clip and the fingernail or maybe something different right you have a bunch of different measuring tools at your station um, but you might have a different tool for a person's height than you would for say a football field right that might be something that you would also use a different measurement for so hopefully this is a little better clarification of what we actually mean when we say linear measurement